Short with Austin awesome Magazine here with Kai McCullough of Austin awesome Vinegar. Sixth at state today. Vinegar uh, second as a team. Um, overall, how are you feeling, Kai? Great performance. Well, um, I'm pretty happy with the way I did. Um, it was a really good uh, day for me. I mean, I felt pretty good. Would have liked to have gone through the second mile a little faster, but I guess it's all in the past now. Really was able to pick it up that third mile, which is good, and caught a bunch of people. So, And for the team, I mean, I guess um, we did still do pretty well overall as a team, but um, I know that our team is better than the way we performed today. And I know we're going to be back right at it at NXR and definitely NXN as well. So I'm curious, it, it did go out fast today, right? Was it yes. around 440 for the first mile or even faster? What I think I saw the front pack went out around 442. I was out in about 451, so I definitely had a lot to make up. Um, I should have probably, I would have liked to have maybe run a little bit faster the first mile, but I guess I'm still happy with my sixth place finish. So when you're about nine seconds, like that's that's the time deficit after the first mile. Like, how do you make your way back a little bit? Well, um, I do know that like I used to there was I actually used to run that way, so I know. Um, as those miles go on, it starts to feel really fatigued, like for those people who sprint out. So um, I know that because I started a little more conservatively, I'll be able to make it up and catch some of those people who went out a little faster. Yeah. So it's basically just your patience. Your exactly. I have trust in my instincts. So you know, you and the team started to make up ground. I would say we did definitely, definitely. Um, so can you talk to me a little bit about like what that felt like kind of pushing through some of that pain? Well, I had a little bit of lactic acid going into the third mile, but um, I saw the clock and I was like, ooh, I got to speed it up a little bit. So I started going and it just kind of went away a little. Um, I think some of my teammates also said the same thing. They had a little bit in their legs, but then they saw the clock and they're like, oh, it's time to go. Like, and so we just really picked it up that last Mile. And I'm sure if you, there was like a little like line, like a little green line, you know, um, it would show that all of us passed quite a bit of people the last mile, for sure. As a year, this has been a breakthrough for you in cross. Would you agree? I would agree. I felt really strong this year. Um, it's been really awesome to be able to run with such a good team. Hudson Haley, he's awesome to train with, awesome to run races with. I just couldn't be happier to have such a great team. What do you feel like? What, what got you to that point? Like, can you explain sort of your drive to get better? How much of a difference did it make for you kind of leading into the season? Well, so um, basically this summer I really knew I needed to make an impact since, um, you know, Dylan Shefflin was gone. So I had to kind of step up and be that um, a big runner on our team that we really needed. So I really trained hard and I really put my mind to it. And I guess I was just able to perform. What you guys wear on your arms today? Um, so this is Psalm 23, this is a Bible verse, and this is 1 Corinthians 9.24. So um, the, the meaning of this one is Psalm 23, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, God will always be with me. Um, so I know that, including today, even in the darkest troubles, that God is just, He's with me. Like I can think about that in the race. And when I have that lactic acid build up, I can just think God's with me right now. And so on this one, this is 1 Corinthians 9.24. Um, the meaning of that verse is, um, for I have run, I will run the race God has set out for us. But this is not a race that is temporary, it is one that lasts forever. So like, th this means today, I wasn't running for just today. This is for forever, for God's glory. And I just want to show everyone that um, I'm running for God, and that's who really I'm running for. The season isn't over, as you said. you got a couple more left in the region. We will and definitely Nike, be back. Nike cross regional, and potentially from that point forward, maybe Nike national. So guys continue at it, right? Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, congratulations today, Kai. Thank you.